What's up Geeksters, it's me Omar from Geekster Labs and today I have a sponsored review for a product that was sent to me from Toucan and this is their wireless outdoor camera. So as the title goes, it's completely wireless which means it has a built-in battery. So you can basically install this anywhere in the front or backyard of your home and you don't have to deal with having the power supply going to it, so which makes it very, very cool. I'm gonna give you guys a tour of what comes included in the box, give you a tour of the app and just talk about the specs and features of this product from Toucan. So without further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, so here is the box for the product itself. Uh, this product retails for around $70, and I'll have an affiliate Amazon link in the description to make that really easy for you guys to find if you do want to purchase this for yourselves. Uh, before we crack open the box to show you what comes included with it, let's just go over some of the specs and features that are mentioned on the outside of the box. First off, this does feature a magnetic uh, mount system. So basically, you, you screw this part into the, the wherever you want to mount it to, the wall, whatever, and then you can manage or you can pivot and angle this with the magnetic mount in the back. So make sure that whenever you do install this, you make sure it's going to be in a place where you can easily get to it because you do you will have to recharge the battery. So it does feature a built-in rechargeable battery. It will last up to three months depending on your usage. So you need to put it in a, in a location you can easily get to it so you can recharge it back up. The camera in here is 1080p, so that's full HD. And uh, so to set it up is really easy to set up with the you could just set up with the the application, which I'll give you guys a tour of in just a second. So it does video feature video encryption, and they do offer free 24-hour video history, so you can get to and watch anything that you've recorded in the last 24 hours, which is free. So inside the box, first off, we have some uh, paperwork, uh, the customer support information. We have a sticker here. I always like when I include this with security products, so you can put this in your window, so anyone driving by, they'll just see a random sticker and be like, oh, okay, so they obviously have cameras around so maybe I shouldn't break into that house so that's nice that they just include that into there so that's the manual right there we have the camera right there in the box we'll get to that at the very end here is all the cables and such I believe so first off we have the uh, the charging cable so like I said it does charge the USB so this uses a micro USB I believe let's see where's that and it does yes yeah, so it uses micro Micro USB to fully charge it back up whenever it is low on power. That's what you got right there. You have some 3M tape, so you can mount it. And if you need to mount it in a specific type of area that you don't want to use a screw, but then you do have the mount, the backing plate right here. Let's pop that out. And so then you can mount that with the single screw right there. That's pretty nice. And they do include some hardware here. So if you have screws, anchors, I guess depending on what kind of surface or what area that you're going to be putting this on just in case you need it. And so then we have the camera itself. So the camera actually has some weight to it. It's not light. It doesn't feel like a like a cheap lightweight camera at all. So there is the camera. Make sure we get this in focus. So as you can see, it's pretty big. It's not super heavy. It's maybe like a pound or so. It definitely has some heft to it. So on the top of the camera, this is where you would have the on and off button here, the reset and set button. So we have like a little plug to make sure the wire doesn't get into there and damage anything. And on the bottom we have a, so we do have a, a tripod thread mount on the bottom. If you want to use that, I guess for something, you could always do that. And then there's the USB uh, port on the bottom as well to charge up the device. And then, whoa, that is strong. So that is, wow. So I was definitely kind of worried about this using magnets, mag magnets to hold it in place. But as you can tell, that is a very strong magnet right there. So that, the, the awesome thing about this is this will give you like an infinite amount of ways you can mount it and, and kind of make sure it's in a perfect position. The downside, of course, to that though is when you need to recharge it back up, you're going to have to figure out the exact perfect sweet spot for where it's going to be mounted and pointing to. So that is the camera right there. So I'm going to go ahead and install this bad boy and I'll give you guys some example footage and give you a tour of the app and show you what it looks like and what the footage that this camera can record actually looks like as well. So let's get to that. So now let's take a look at the Toucan app. So when you open the app, this is the screen that you'll be greeted with. Here it is where you'll have all your different cameras listed. I only have one camera set up, so that's the only one that shows up right here. If you want to add more, you would click on that plus sign and then you could set up additional devices like doorbells and other front and backyard cameras. So on here, you can label it, whatever you want to label it. And it shows you that this camera is online. The other corner right here, it shows us the battery life. So right now it says 83% battery life, which is pretty good. I've had the, the camera turned on outside for a little over two weeks and it's, I've only used 83% up, or I, have, I still have 83% battery life left. You could, uh, there are some ways you can tweak it to where you can have a little bit more battery life, and I'll show you what those settings and options would do to make it last a little bit longer. And then next to that, we have the Wi-Fi signal, so since this is right outside my office window, which is pretty close to the router, the bars are pretty high. I got two bars out of three. 
then uh, we'll get into these options and things on here in a second, but let me show you some things that show up with the camera. So if you click on here, this option lets you snooze the motion sensor. So this is a cool option to have in case you have a backyard camera. Maybe you guys are having a cookout, you're grilling in the backyard. You don't wanna get motion detection constantly all day long while you're moving around the backyard. So you can actually snooze it just for a few hours and that way it won't give you any kind of a motion sensor alert for that time period. I'm gonna turn it off. And now let's get into the settings for the camera. When it comes to settings, here's the, some of the things we have. So we have a do not disturb function. So if you turn on the do not disturb function, this lets you uh, to stop your camera from sending you push alerts or push notifications when it sees motion. So it will still record those alerts and it'll still put those in the list where you can watch them later on. It just won't alert your phone if you, do, if you don't wanna receive those notifications. Um, you can, so you can set it to do not disturb at all or you can actually set up a schedule. So if you're using this, let's say at your place of work, and from eight to five, you don't need to know all the notifications because people are coming in and out, but you only want it to let you know at nighttime when the shop is closed. Well, then you would snooze this and you could s turn it on to having uh, notifications at a certain time period. But like I said, this just let this just this just disables the notifications. It's still the motion sensor is still being engaged and it's still recording things that it sees. So you may actually want to use a different option if you actually do not want it to be using the motion sensor. And so if you come over here to motion detection, so if you come to motion detection, you can set it to max, high, medium, or low. That's just the settings for the sensitivity. Or you can put it on a scheduler. And so when you schedule the time, you can snooze the schedule and this allows you to temporarily turn off the motion sensor on the device. So this is what's gonna save you some battery life. If you don't need any type of motion sensing like during the day, you can have this turned off and only at nighttime is when it'll actually send you alerts for that. So that's a really cool way, good way to set conserve battery power. So up here we got time zones, the video and date time stamp. So that's what puts it on the video or the pictures to let you know the date and time. Night vision, you can turn it on or off. You can turn it on or off or have it set to auto. I just leave it on auto because that's I want it just to automatically do it by itself. Motion detection I already showed you. Motion zones, very cool feature here. So this actually is really good, especially if you're putting it in a place where you have objects that move around a lot in your backyard or your front yard. For example, I have mine in my front yard right here. So it shows you a screenshot of this is what, the, what my video camera snapshot of the front yard. So I, you can actually move the live sections around. So right now I don't wanna see anything that's happening on the street because every time a car drives by, it'll alert me. I don't care about that. I just wanna know people that's on my yard or in my driveway. So you can actually adjust and fine tune things. Another thing too, this is also an issue you might have in your backyard. I have a tree right here. I'm not sure if you can see that. And every time that tree moves in the wind, it's gonna set the alarm off. So I can actually just crop this tree out. So it's right about there. And it kind, of, it kind of jumps to like certain notches. You can't move it wherever you want to move it. It has to jump to a grid. So I can do it right there. So now the tree is not in view. So the only thing I'm paying attention to is this half of my yard plus my driveway. So if anyone walks up my driveway, pulls into my driveway, whatever, I'll get notification of things happen here. Everything happening in the street and everything happening on this side of the yard with the tree, it will be completely ignored and my, won't get notifications or motion sensing for that. That's really nice. Like I said, if you have stuff in your backyard that's constantly... Um, moving around. Oh, I also think too is you can disengage and turn on certain sections. So it doesn't have to be like a continuous section. Like if I want to pay attention to this corner and this part, you just click it and that enables it. But if I make it gray, it ignores it. So you can pick and choose different spots. So like I said, if there's a spot in the backyard, like if you have a bush that moves around a lot, or like a grill cover that flaps in the wind, you can turn that area off. So it just ignores it and won't let you, it won't send you any notifications for those areas. Emergency call. You can have that turned on set on there. I'll show you where you can get to emergency services from the live view, but that's something that puts it into there. Network just shows you the Wi-Fi signal and the, the, the Wi-Fi that you're actually connected to. Battery source is built-in battery because I'm using the built-in battery. Um, it does give you an option to plug-in battery, but I'm not using that. Siren duration and event video limit. Those are two pro features. We'll talk about pro uh, features and the, the tiers that you should pay money for to get those features. We'll talk about that in a little bit, but this is two options that would open up if you did have the pro version. Auto greeting is turned off, but if you did turn that on, you can have different things like, hello, who is this? How can I help you? And you can even set this to a schedule so that it's something that alerts someone the second the motion detects them, like if they're walking up to your, your uh, to your door or whatever, it'll like send them alerts like, hello, who is this? And it'll automatically greet them. I don't like that, so I will turn that off right there. I don't need that function. So those are different options for the front yard settings for the camera. So let's check out the camera live view. So when you click on the live view, it's showing you the actual live view of the front yard. So when you keep it in vertical mode, you, can, you would have to scroll side to side to see what the full camera sees, right? Or if you turn it sideways, then you can see the exact thing right off the bat. You don't have to do anything. And you can still pinch to zoom if you want to check it or look up something that's happening in front of your house. 
but these all options, all these things will just rotate themselves and move in different locations if, if you rotate it. So we're gonna keep it in the horizontal view so you can see this. So here we can have the, so this turns on the microphone so you can speak through the device and they can hear your voice through the speaker that's on the camera. This is where you have your uh, automatic uh, greetings. Hello, who is it? How can I help you? No soliciting thank you, dog barking. Those are things you can just do right from the screen. You can press this button right here which will sound the alarm which is pretty loud to scare anybody off if you don't want them in your front yard or in your backyard. You press this button here here to record events so it will normally automatically record any motion sensing events that it detects but if you see something happening in the front you can press on the record button and force it to record this option right here is to do a screenshot so it'll take a screenshot of whatever is happening as well like a photograph sos is basically you know it just gives you a quick option to call 911 if something's happening in front of your house you want to get a hold of the, the police you can just call them by pressing that button right there up here in the corner you can turn off the audio if you want to hear what the audio is happening you can click that and you can you can hear everything that's happening over there or you can just leave it off and then that's just to go back to this regular view right here so that's what you do is the enlarge view so that is the live screen view right here so pretty cool it shows you what anything anytime you can just jump into there whenever you want to see what's happening in the front yard that's really easy to get to uh, when you get to the bottom here we have our events so events will be all the things that it's already recorded so these are different motion alerts that have already been set off with the free version, you can have, uh, I believe it's up to 24 hours. I'll show you the tiers and the, the, the amount of times from the free version to the pro and elite versions that you have available to you. But you, for right now, I can only see what has happened to, uh, today and then also yesterday as well. Those are all the things that happened yesterday. And I can download any of these movie clips to my, to my phone, my device, to see them later on. But if you want to watch them, you just click on them and you can play them back. You can do full sideways version to see what it recorded, what happened. That was just us driving out of the driveway. So those are all the, some different the events that happened that took place and you can see on, through the calendar, you can scrub through them and look at different things. So now let's discuss some of the paid plans that are available for the Toucan app. Okay, so when it comes to Toucan's Shield plans, there's three different ones you can pick from. There's a free version, a pro version, which is $2.99 a month, and an elite, which is $9.99 a month. So all three of these plans, including the free one, come with 24 seven live feeds. So you can connect to it whenever you need to comes with two-way audio, you can speak through the camera, instant notifications to your smart devices and your smart watches, pre-recorded messages, uh, the loud siren alarm, emergency call, the manual video and photo capture, whenever you wanna capture that, when the app is open, you can do that, um, adjustable sensitivity, and unlimited devices. So you can have as many cameras set up in the app as possible, as you want. And that's where the, the basic plan ends. When it comes to the Pro and the Elite, there's two extra things that they do offer, which is the customized siren duration. So you can have it extend a, a however, long, a, however long you want it to go. And then also the customizing the event video timing. And so besides that, for sharing, when it comes to the free plan, you can share this with two other people. So yourself and maybe your spouse or whoever, your roommate or whatever. If you want to share with more people, the Pro and Elite also allow for 10 users. So you can share this up to 10 other people. So maybe if you're using this at work and you have coworkers, you, need, you want them to be able to access this, whatever your case scenario is, up to 10 people. When it comes to saved and bookmarked recordings, the Pro comes with 10 and the Elite comes with 10. So that basically allows you to, whenever you're scrolling through uh, events and recordings, you can bookmark and it almost like kind of like saves them so you can get to them or favorites them so you can get to them a lot quicker if you have a lot of events on your device. You can't do that with the free version, but you can have up to 10 of those with the Pro and Elite. The, the bigger change here is the playback recording. So with the basic free version, you have up to 24 hours to record or to download any clips of, uh, of events that it's, it's noticed and it's recorded into the app. So you have up to 24 hours. After that, they're lost and you can't get them. If you want to have access to them seven days, you can go to the Pro and the Elite will give you 90 days to be able to access 90 days of footage on the device. Uh, and the video downloads, you can do five a month on the basic. So up to five times you can download five different clips on the month. If you want unlimited, you'll need the Pro or the Elite accounts. And like I said, the basic is the free version. All those things come with the free. The Pro is $2.99 a month and the Elite is $9.99 a month. So those are still, even with the Pro and the Elite, that's still pretty cheap if you do need to have uh, some of these features. Obviously the biggest difference between all these plans is the amount of time it gives you access to your footage. So like I said, the Pro will give you seven days, the Elite will give you 90 days, and the free will just give you 24 hours to be able to download that footage. So my overall thoughts of the Toucan Outdoor Camera is very positive, especially for this price point, under $100, or close to around 80 bucks. I think you're getting a really great product. Uh, the fact that this is completely wireless, you can, you can charge it up, you don't have to have a power source nearby, it means you can pretty much uh, post this wherever you want to, and you can mount this anywhere. Although you do need to be able to get access to it to be able to recharge it, so that is the one thing 
uh, depending on how much you use it, two to three months of battery life, you're gonna have to be able to access it pretty easily to be able to bring it down, plug it in, charge it up, and then put it back in its location. But besides that, this handled really well. Uh, I actually had some really, really hard rain and strong winds that were here at my home. My trash cans got blown all over the place. And this thing was mounted in front of the house, not being protected by an awning or covering or anything like that. And this didn't move an inch, it didn't fall off the mount. The, the water obviously didn't damage it because it's waterproof. So I had no issues with that. So that was a really good test when it came to like how, how this can handle really, really, really strong winds. I will say though that the mount, it's very strong. And it's very, you can get a lot of good flexible uh, angles on it, but keep in mind, you can't really angle it too much to the side because as you can see, if it gets too much off of that off that lip right there, it could possibly easily come off of it. So you have to kind of be real mindful of how you angle it, right? So I still think you can find tons of different angles and ways you can mount this to where you can have it pointing wherever you do need to point it. So the camera quality was very good. Um, like I showed you in those sample footage and the, the video clips that this was able to record, 1080p is pretty, pretty standard now when it comes to outdoor cameras. And so even with the night vision, it handled very, very well with this camera. So I don't really have much complaints, any real complaints about this camera. It's been a really positive experience with this, especially for the price point of being under $100. I don't think you can really go wrong with this. The app I think works really well. And even if you don't want to pay for a, peer, uh, a, a different tier for a pro or the elite plan, you can stick with the free one and be should be just suitable and just fine to be able to do it what you need to do so overall i definitely recommend you guys checking this out if you're looking for an outdoor security camera under 100 bucks the toucan outdoor wireless camera is definitely one i would put up there as something you need to check out so like i said before i'll have a link down below in the description if you want to check this out and purchase one for yourself so that is it for me today guys hopefully you enjoyed this video review and if you want to check out some of my other videos i got two other clips over here you can click on if you'd like to subscribe to my youtube channel make sure you click on my face and don't forget to ring that bell to be notified of all my new reviews as they get dropped on my channel and i'll see you guys in the next video review